Hello, and welcome to a stage reading of the play, Mrs. Crombie, written by Ben Aduccio. This is a Zoom reading of the show. Mrs. Crombie is a 10 minute play with one male and one female character. This performance has been directed by Ben Aduccio. For today's performance, the part of Mrs. Crombie will be played by Christina Aduccio, and the role of the hotel porter will be played by Ben Aduccio. My name is Jessica, and I'm the stage manager of this performance. Enjoy the show. Setting, an upscale New York City hotel close to Central Park. The curtain opens on a luxurious suite with filled with fresh flowers, stunning furniture, and paintings on every wall. Upstage center is a large window that offers a beautiful view of Central Park. Stage left is a door that leads to the bedrooms and bathroom in the suite. Stage right is the door to the hallway. As lights go up, the door to the suite opens and a porter leads an older woman inside. He is carrying her two bags. She follows him to center stage where the two stop and look around the suite. Well, Mrs. Crombie, this is your room. It's one of the nicest suites in the hotel, as you can see. It's got three bedrooms through that door there and also a jacuzzi in the master bedroom. <laughs> the uh, flowers are replaced every morning by our hospitality staff. Let us know if you have any preference on what you'd like us to use for arrangements. And oh yes, you also have a mini bar as well in the corner next to the television. And uh, it's been fully stocked. <laughs> well, I think that's it. We, we really hope you'll enjoy your stay with us. Oh my goodness, what a stunning room. Oh, it's just lovely. Oh, but my dear, where is the restroom? I have had a very long car ride and I know that I'm going to be needing to use it soon. <laughs> of course, Mrs. Crombie. It's through that door and to your left. Oh, and the bathroom does include a telephone that will connect you directly to room service. Oh, well, that's just lovely. Um, does it have a bidet? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, madam, I, I don't believe it does. Oh, that's too bad. You know, sometimes after a long day of sightseeing, I simply must wash my lady bits. Uh... <laughs> that's just a joke, my dear. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> very funny, Mrs. Crombie. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what time does the restaurant serve dinner? Um, oh, ours are 5 to 9 p.m., I believe, ma'am. Oh, and yes, there is also a room service menu on the desk next to the television. I see, yes. And the restaurant does serve all fresh cuisine, is that correct? Uh, the salmon is fresh. The salmon, I see. Well, according to this menu, you the restaurant serves classic American comfort food. I see meatloaf and steak tartare and five, six, no, eight other dishes besides the salmon. That That's correct. And they are fresh? I believe they were fresh, madam, before they were frozen. Frozen? Oh, my dear, no, I don't care for frozen food. Mm -mm, no. I watch kitchen nightmares. I see, madam. Oh, dear. I would much rather jump out of your lovely window here than eat a frozen piece of dried meatloaf. <laughs> then I suggest, Mrs. Crombie, you don't eat the meatloaf. <laughs> As I said, the salmon is fresh and delicious. Well, we'll see about that. Now tell me, dear, is this a very nice view? I mean, it looks like it's a lovely view. Yes, it's the very best in New York City, ma'am. And what's that big green thing? That's, that's Central Park, ma'am. Oh, well, that's just lovely, dear. Uh, now, uh, where's the mini bar? Oh, it's, it's again in the corner, madam, next to the television. Oh, I see. And, and does it have the ingredients for a fresh gin and tonic? I believe so, madam. If not, we'd be happy to bring up the right ingredients. 
Oh, well, that's just lovely. Well, let me see here. Well, I mean, is there anything else I can do for you, Mrs. Crombie? I have to be getting back to work again, I'm afraid. Yes, dear. This Snickers bar is three months expired. Did you know the candy was three months expired? Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, madam. I'm afraid not. Here, let me take that off of your hands, ma'am. I would expect a hotel of this caliber to be able to rotate its Snickers bars in a timely fashion. Yes, ma'am. So, my dear, please inform the manager that I will be requiring a fresh Snickers bar and some tonic water for a gin and tonic. There's none in there. No, I'm afraid we don't carry that in the suite, ma'am. But if you'd like, I would be happy to inform our bar manager to bring you a fresh gin and tonic. We use a local gin. That's what gives it its extra flavor. Well, I will be sure to take notice of that. But you just told me that the ingredients were here, and they're not. So I would expect a hotel of this caliber to be able to carry the fresh ingredients in the room. I'm sorry, Mrs. Crombie. I'm sorry I should have known. Now I will bring in the rest of your bags for you. Other than that, I mean, is there anything else I can get you, Mrs. Crombie? I have to be getting back downstairs. Oh, that's just lovely, dear. Now tell me, are you from New York City? Actually, no, ma'am. I'm originally I'm from Wisconsin. I, I moved here to study acting. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I do love theater. And while I'm here, I'm going to go see the Kinky Slippers show or something like that uh, when I'm here. Kinky Boots, ma'am? Yes, that's it. <laughs> oh, isn't it lovely? I am so excited. My first time in New York City. I saved up my money for three years to be able to stay at this lovely hotel and take this wonderful trip. Three years. That's just lovely. <laughs> we hope you'll enjoy your stay with us, Mrs. Crombie, and want to come back. Now I will grab the rest yes, of your Yes, my first vacation in three years. Oh, what is your name? Oh, I'm, I'm Jonathan, ma'am. Joseph, what a lovely name. Oh, but Joseph, it's rather dusty in here, don't you think? Actually, it's Jonathan, ma'am, and I'm sorry. If you would like, I'll call housekeeping yes, for you. It's rather dusty, dear, and I'm afraid it looks like the curtains have not been washed. Would you have those curtains washed before this evening, please? I have always said that you can tell the quality of a hotel by the condition of its curtains. Well, actually, the drapes need to be sent out for cleaning, but... <sighs> You know what? Absolutely, Mrs. Crombie. I'll get on that right away. Yes, I think I will have a lovely time here, Jonathan. Oh, now, Jonathan, there is something you need to help me with, please. This afternoon, I want to see a special exhibit at the, uh, oh, wait just a minute. I think I have it here. So, yes, yes. It's the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, now, where can I find that? Oh, we'd be happy to arrange a taxi for you, ma'am. Or you could take a bus across the park to get to the museum. Oh, bus. Oh, dear, no, I don't like the sound of that. But a taxi sounds like that would be just lovely. Yes, we would be happy to arrange that for you. Oh. The front desk will handle it. Just call down and let them know what time you'll be wanting to leave. Oh, well, thank you, dear. You have been most helpful. Now, uh, would you uh, please step out into the hallway and grab my suitcases? Of course, madam. Well, here we are, Mrs. Crombie, the rest of your luggage. Oh, uh, thank you, Jonathan. Is everything all right, ma'am? Oh, I, I'm sorry, dear. It's just... What is it, Mrs. Crombie? Oh, it, it's just that this is the first time I've ever left home since my husband passed away. 
Simon. Oh, he was such a lovely man. 45 years of marriage. 45 years of marriage we spent together in North Carolina. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I, I stayed up for this trip ever since the day he died. We spent so many years taking trips together, RV and all over the country. But we never made it to New York City. He always wanted to see Grant's tomb. <laughs> He, he was a big fan of that Gary Cooper movie where he goes to visit Grant's tomb. I'm, I'm sorry, madam. I, I don't believe I've seen it. Oh, oh, you'd like it, dear. It's an oldie but a goodie. Anyway, we always wanted to come here together, but we just never did. In all those years, something would always come up like a problem with the kids or his job or health complication with my mother. Mm. And when she died, came the cancer, his prostate, another four years of doctor's appointments and, and long nights staying in the hospital. And so many conversations talking about what we'd do when he'd beaten it. but he never did. So when he died, I decided that I would come here for the both of us. That's, that's a sweet story, ma'am. Thank you, dear. And now our dream finally came true. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Mrs. Crombie? What about a fresh Snickers bar and a gin and tonic brought up to your room right away on the house? Oh, well, that would be just lovely, dear. <laughs> Great. And again, Mrs. Crombie, we thank you for choosing to stay with us. And if there's anything else we can do, just let us know. Yes, this is just lovely.